Out this morning checking baits. Uh, we've got a fresh pig from yesterday to replenish one of our baits that's getting hit by a large female. And uh, yeah, this is kind of the routine when leopard hunting. It's, uh, you know, it, it's uh, one after another. We got plenty of baits out. Uh, other guys are checking other baits around the property. And this is just kind of what we do until we know we've got a, a big cat on and then the real fun starts and we make a blind, uh, get ready to sit for the, for the evening and uh, you know and just hope and while we're out of course we're looking for diker and uh, heart of beast bush pigs and the rest of our target species but it's still never a dull moment out here you never know what you're going to see around every corner targeting a male on this side but he's uh, he's uh, he's been trained and uh, so he's a little bit more cautious so we'll hope today's day three normally bikes start working from day three onwards so we've got some we've got good times ahead of us lots of hunting and lots of land that we haven't seen yet and uh, let's hope every day it's the promise of tomorrow, the promise of the leopard feeding. That's what makes leopard hunting on the one side. There's highs and lows the whole time. Every time you go to a bike, you've got that possibility of a leopard feeding. And then the low or the disappointment if nothing happens. That's the whole thing. It's an emotional roller coaster ride, up and down, up and down, up and down. And then when that cat eats the bait and it's the male that we want, and we know he's a legal male, then we go into overdrive. Then this whole operation changes. Um, the normal routine changes, everything changes. We keep on checking baits, but now we have cat feeding and holding blinds. And hopefully the client gets his cat on that night. Otherwise he doesn't get his cat, then we go back to the old routine, but we now have new things more blinds, more baits, it's just, it saps the energy out of you, and it's very emotional. So, um, it is not a hunt for everybody, and if you don't have, don't have patience, then uh, this is the hunt not to come on. Uh, leopard hunt, you need to be patient, relax, and do what you know works, keep on doing it, and never, 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 it's the big, biggest mistake all of us made, and I've made it many times in my earlier in my life, is to overthink things and then suddenly you change your recipe, or you, you think you're doing something wrong. If, if it worked for 10 years, it still works today. Um, don't change, don't overthink, just, you know, stay constant.
doesn't matter. You did a good job, sir. Okay. Did it feel like it's charging? <laughs> it was charging a little bit. He just didn't know we were here. Yeah, I'm very apprehensive of this animal. I do know that. Very apprehensive. Well, you shot a very, very old rat. Good. You can be very proud of this. Good. Animal. He's not as big as your sons. That's all right. I told Anton, listen, when I saw that black neck, Tony, at my age, it's important for my son's animal to be bigger than mine. Is it? Yes, it, well, it is. doesn't matter. Oh, dad doesn't need to have the biggest. Shabby for 74 you. No, 73. Don't cheat me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Huh? Yeah. He's still a little bush buck. Yeah. 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 yeah he's and, the good, he's and the good news is, the little rascal didn't charge like the That's last always He was coming towards us. That. He just didn't know we were there. And, and then you did well. You stalked it, everything. You did yeah. well. You're a trooper. Congrats. Man. Yeah. I awesome. appreciate it. All right. Hell yeah. Awesome. Congratulations. Really awesome. Cool. Yep. He's got some thick horns at the bottom there. Yep. There's some lot of character. Daggers. Really awesome. All right. Yeah, those things can do some damage. Even the smallest animals out here can be super dangerous. <laughs> that one can, I tell you that. Yeah. They're probably more dangerous than most animals out here. Yeah. Well, we were successful. We had a stock. I'm not sure how many yards. Uh, I tried to find ever a warthog hole in the stock, but I, I dodged him. We've got a nice old uh, bush buck. Uh, he's at the end of his life cycle, so that's what we try to do. When we shoot an animal, harvest an animal, we want to harvest the old one. Lucky and uh, there he is. Boy, he's scarred up. He's been fighting. So, anyways, beautiful animal. Good stuff, good shoot. It's a lovely chubby fish buck, Uncle Larry, and, and uh, it's been like Yanqua uh, uh, said, it befits the warrior. Much value, much value. All right. And so, yeah, you shot a very old ram. That not saying that you're an old man. And uh, he stalked it, I would say, a good 700 yards, and we got within 50, 60 yards. A nice close shot. Beautiful.
Oh, I'm so sorry. You, <laughs> you got it, Baba. Come, let's go. All right. Come. You're going to walk? I'm walking. What I'm going to do. This is this way about 200 yards. Okay. Well, where did you aim? Front shoulder, right behind the front shoulder. Okay. okay. I think you shot a bit high. Nice round, huh? Yeah. It's a nice solid round. Now, now you have a mountain reed bug and a common reed right. Oh, great. Oh, shit. Oh, nice one. Yeah. Uncle Larry. Yeah. Very nice. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Well done, sir. Well done. All well right. Done. Well done. I did. Well done. Hit him a little high. <laughs> Listen. Yeah, let's but that's, that's where I aimed. aimed. That's exactly where I aimed. Yeah. Solid yeah. round. Yeah, nice. Okay. Very good. Great shot. Yeah, yeah that's a beast. Very nice. That's a big boy. Gonna get better than that. Every day of hunting is different. Yesterday, we were trying to hunt a common red buck. I, I couldn't hit one to save my life, and I don't know what the deal was. I think I didn't have a firm breast. And today, we found the common rebuck, and here he is. Uh, one shot, one kill. So he, uh, we just persevered and kept after it, and the results were positive. So it was a great hunt. Yeah, we came around a corner and saw, saw this one. Uh, we've actually seen a bunch of really good rams, but hadn't been able to close the distance, and luckily, this animal had the sun in its eyes and they were able to make a quick stalk without uh, the animal even seeing them. Uh, I'm not sure how far the shot was. I stayed in the truck because we didn't need too many people out. But uh, we heard the boom and the quick report and I just knew he was down and he made a great shot. So awesome animal. Good shooting. Thanks, son. I appreciate it. I'll let the adrenaline go down here in a minute. <laughs> it was great. Oh. But I see he's also tired, he dropped his head now. Yeah, he's forever asleep now. Yep. And there's still a little bit of daylight left, so who knows what the rest of the day can still bring. Beautiful animal. Markings on his on his neck, the side, just beautiful. I, I have a mountain uh, reed buck, so this will go right next to the mountain reed buck. So that'll be the common and the mountain. And, uh, I'll have a story for both of them. <laughs> Thanks a lot.